Hey guys, I'm Walt K4OGO. Just how good is the internal ATU on the Zygu G90? You know, I've had mine for a couple years. I love the radio and I've always just taken it for granted. The thing tunes well. You know, you see a lot of comments about it. They say, hey, that thing can uh, tune a coat hanger or a wet noodle or whatever. I don't know about that and I'm not going to try that experiment. But what I wanted to do is I have a uh, seven element man pack military whip antenna. I use this a lot with a coil. I'm going to use it by itself. This thing is 285 centimeters long. So it's basically a quarter wave at 25 megahertz. So it's somewhere close to the 12 meter band. Um, I'm going to take this thing, put it here on the top of my car. I'm down, I'm on the outer banks of North Carolina, right beside the ocean. So, you know, I am going to get the advantage of being real close to the ocean. But I, when I try to like transmit with it, but what I'm going to do, I want to go from 10 up to 40 meters and, and just check the SWR. And then see if this thing will tune it and we can get a match on every band between 10 and 40. I'm thinking, you know, definitely 10 and 12. I mean, I know that will work. A lot of times with my coil, I'll move the coil all the way up and just tune it there. So I have, I have tried it there. My curiosity is going to be with 15, 17, 20, and 40. If I can tune and then can I make a QSO with it? Well, let's put it together and, uh, and see if we can do it. Stick around. Okay, it's kind of windy. Winds out in the northeast here. I'm in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Just over that dune is the Atlantic Ocean. That's actually the Kitty Hawk, North Carolina fishing pier here. This is where I'm at, Kitty Hawk. Here's my setup. There's the uh, man pack whip on top of my SUV uh, on a mag mount there. So there it is. That's the uh, 285 centimeter man pack whip on a mag mount. So, Let's get inside and start checking some numbers. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, let's check SWR here on 10 meters to start with. It's pretty flat. I don't think we're going to have to worry about the ATU here on this one. That's uh, pretty solid. So this antenna is awesome. Although it calculates out to be about a quarter on uh, on 25 megahertz, I think I may be wrong on that one. All right, let's switch to 12. Let's get down to about, uh, let me get somebody there. Let's go about 9.30. Okay, let's get out here, hear a voice. Let's go up a little bit. Let's check SWR here. Okay. Not bad. 1.2. I mean, we could use that band without the ATU, but obviously, it'll tune it. Actually, there you go. Flattens out in that part of the band. Okay, we'll quit that, cut the tuner off. Let's go to 15. Let's go to about, uh, let's go down a little bit. 21,350, that's clear. Let's check it out. Okay, SWR up here a little bit. It's around uh, 2.9, about three to one maybe, somewhere in that neighborhood. Let's quit that. Hit the tune button. Obviously, tune that with ease. Yeah, it's kind of narrow. You might have to move around the band a little bit, but uh, yeah, looks pretty good there. So we got 15 meters, cut the tuner off. Let's go to 17. Find us a spot here when no one's around. It's like the bands are pretty active this morning. It's about uh, 8.20 in the morning here. All right, let's check SWR of 17. All right, it's up there, which uh, this... SWR scanner goes up to four and it's showing a four. All right, we'll quit that. Let's hit the tune button. Awesome. Check SWR there. Boom, down. And up, perfect. Tuned it at 17 meter band. Cut the tuner off, let's go to 20. We'll go up a little bit. Let's find us a spot around uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 240-ish, there's somebody there. There we go, I'll come down a little bit more. 230, check SWR. Obviously, uh, it's up there for sure. All right, we'll quit that, see if we can tune it. A little bit more of an effort to tune there, but here we go. 
There we go. It tuned 20. No problem. Let's check 30. I didn't mention 30 earlier. Let's, let's, we'll check 30. Skip a little bit. I don't want to interrupt anybody here. Okay. Cut the tuner off. SWR. Obviously, we're going to find it up there high. We'll quit that. Let's hit tune. Check SWR. We'll narrow it out. Having a little trouble with 30. I mean, it's down to about, uh, it says 1.2, 1.3. It's a little higher. It's under two, 2 to 1. I think we could... Uh, we can make it work on 30 if we wanted. All right, cut the tuner off. Let's go to 40. We go. That's, that's pretty good. Get away from me. Got some activity here. Let's come down a little bit. Just right here. I think that's a good spot. And obviously, it's going to be high. Okay, quit that. Hit tune. Struggling a little bit there. Got it down though. Actually, it does better on 40 than it did 30, and I really don't use 30 much yet. But um, yeah, cool. Okay. Shall we keep going? Let's try 80. Why not? I'll never make a QSO on 80 with this uh, <laughs> with this antenna with 20 watts. But let's uh, let's see what the SWR is here. Cut the tuner off. SWR through the freaking roof, I'm sure. There you go. Actually, not that bad as I thought. All right, let's see if we can tune. There's a little narrow spot there. So it'll tune it pretty much a small whip antenna it'll tune it down to where you could make a make a QSO if wanted to be all right there you go uh 10 to uh 80 meters let's uh let's see what we can do now all right cool um so it'll tune this thing anywhere from uh 10 to 80 meters uh, and that was uh didn't originally plan on 30 and 80 but uh hey it tuned it um let's see if we can make some QSOs now that's really the the proof is in the pudding with this little antenna and and this video is all about the tuner not the antenna i understand this is definitely not the antenna to sit here and do this with but i just want to try them next to the ocean um what a better there's not, not a better place to try this at than right here so uh let's see if we can make some few qsos i'll um i'll start at 10 and then just try to pop one on 10 you know 12 15 17 20 and so on see if we can do this Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar, you're 59 Fox Radio, QSL. QSL, you're 59001. Thank you for number one, good luck, 73. Thank you, 73. QSL, Papa Echo 3 Victoria. Hello, DX 12 Oscar Papa 2 Alpha. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Good morning, old man. First contact, you're the 5 and 5. My handle is Ivo, India, Victor Oscar, near Brussels, Belgium, Roger. Papa, India 4, Charlie, Charlie. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, 5, 9, Golf 7, Victor, Alpha Bravo, beaming states, I can't understand. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Russian stations on here, which are just uh, impeding things a little bit, but I got something, a uh, Golf Oscar or Oscar Golf, go ahead. Yes, uh, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Uh, Kilo 4, at Oscar, Golf, Oscar, I think, go ahead. Uh, QSL, the name is Walt, Whiskey Alpha, Lima Tango. I'm parked by the beach on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, uh, mobile, with just uh, 20 watts there, Matt. Yeah, okay, Walt, uh, I've got you in, I've got you, I heard you say park by the beach, and I think you said 20 watts, but uh, uh, I wonder what beach that is, uh, back to you, Walt. Yeah, park, Delta Sierra 
Kilo four Oscar golf Oscar. Okay, I got a kilo four Oscar. What's the rest of it? Yes, it's kilo four Oscar golf Oscar. Okay, uh, K four O D O. Good morning to you. My name is Larry, and welcome aboard the submarine drum. Well, there you go. Fun experiment. Um, it tuned up every band that I wanted to get on, but to be honest with you, um, and this was about the tuner, not the antenna. I uh, think the antenna rocked down on 10, 12 and worked pretty good 15 and 17. Uh, when I got to 20 meters, um, I was struggling. I mean, I couldn't break through even guys close to me. I did get that, uh, I made one QSO on 20. It was down to the, uh, the uh, museum ship, the USS Drum there in Alabama, that was it. I went to 40. Uh, there was some activity on 40. Somewhat uh, would have been in the range of what I probably could have made a CUSO with on 40, but I couldn't get through. So this antenna and that 20 watch just wasn't going to do it there. But um, but a great a great experiment with a man pack uh, military whip um, and that uh, tuner. I mean, it's it's great for you know 10, 12, maybe 15, 17 uh, for for trying it out. I'm sure if I had the coil with me for uh, 15 and 17, probably could have done even a lot better. But um, like I said, this was uh, about the uh, tuner inside the radio and not the antenna itself. Um, Got to get too hung up on the antenna there. But um, what a fun experiment and just shows you how great um, that uh, that internal ATU is on this Zygu G90. I love it. I love this radio. Um, had this thing for a couple of years. I've actually been thinking about buying a second one uh, to have to just leave at home and have one that I travel with and one there at the home base. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is probably the last video I'm going to do here stateside. Um, uh, two days from today, I hop on an airplane and I'll be headed over to Poland for two for six weeks operating there. Um, so hope to catch you on the bands there. I've taken a few. Uh, different antennas with me that I'll experiment with over there and uh, and have some fun hopefully uh, when I'm not working uh, I like to spend my time playing radio anyway thanks for watching until next time I'm Walt K4 OGO 73 my friends see you soon